Last time I had a desktop computer, it looked something like this. And despite knowing that the technology has come a long way since then, as has my fashion sense, thankfully, I still have been pretty complacent without one. Now you'll know that for the past few weeks, I've been talking about ways that I've been tweaking and perfecting the space around me to really get the most out of my workday, from things like the layout, how I've stored things, uh, to how I clean and organize in here. Just having a space that is catered to my needs, my preferences, and how those changes I've made have really enhanced my potential and my productivity. And what I didn't realize was just how much of an impact that the machine at the heart of my workspace could have. So this is the hub of everything I do, basically. It's where all the work I do in some way or another starts and ends. So for the final video in this short series, I wanted to talk specifically about my computer and how it has changed the way I get stuff done. Now, this is the Lenovo Idea Center 520. It was sent to me by Intel, who are sponsoring this video. And as I was saying, if I'm being completely transparent, I really didn't think that I would feel a real difference in having a desktop computer. I love the portability of my laptop, which I, of course, still use it for. And I thought that to get the most out of the desktop computer, I would need space for a tower, just an equipment heavy setup and some real extensive computer know-how, which I just don't have. But this is actually an all-in-one computer. So there is no tower. All of its power comes, you know, built into the screen, basically. You'll know from my previous videos in this short series that I don't like overcrowding of my desk or the space around it. So this was a great option for me. I've got this expansive detailed screen without intruding on space for making art and storing supplies. And I just wanna say I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to upgrade my workspace like this. As I was saying about my uh, heavy duty guillotine, my thermal label printer, this is the kind of upgrade that just makes work life that little bit smoother, that little bit easier in the long run. There's the obvious stuff, like this larger screen size, just being able to open up your workspace from broad tasks to tiny detail. I love using my calendar on this. Just being able to see all my time spread out as a whole, but still pinpoint the specifics or do the same thing when I'm working in Photoshop, for example, you know, see the whole picture that I'm working on while I'm still focusing in on a particular area. But the real time saving magic here comes from what's inside, that little boost, that little leg up that this computer gives me, that like next level power to launch really hefty apps and open huge files that much quicker than ever before. And just saying that it's improved my workflow doesn't really do it justice. So we are gonna get a little bit technical here, so bear with me. Uh, we've talked about processors in the past and this one comes with Intel's Core i5 processor, which basically means I don't have to worry about having loads of things running at once, you know, in those creative bursts, just like jumping from one program to another. I'm not wasting time uh, accounting for lag or things crashing. And on top of that, this computer also has something called Intel Optane Memory, which I will be honest with you guys, on paper I initially couldn't wrap my head around, but in practice I can see and feel it working and making a difference to how I work and how much I get done more and more every day. The way I've come to understand it is that it's this new form of memory that adapts to whatever you're doing the most. So it remembers your behaviours so it's always ready to launch even your like chunkier apps and files. So I use Photoshop and Premiere Pro pretty much every single day at some point and over the past few weeks using this computer it's been so cool to see just how much quicker it loads almost every single time. You know, it just kind of feels like the computer knows what I want to do before I even click on it. I'm not waiting around, I'm not finding workarounds because my computer's limited to how many things it can do at once. I feel like I can really focus on my own unique workflow because Optane Memory is behind me really like shaping its performance around what it knows I'm going to want to do. The final thing is more a personal thing, I guess. I have kind of a fixation on habits and why we do the things we do, I guess. Um, you know, triggers that affect our behaviours and that's the main reason why I set up this workspace in the first place, why I separated this part of my room from the rest. So I would have that divided from living space and workspace and know that, you know, when I walk into this section, it is time to work and do nothing else. My laptop comes everywhere with me and I use it for so many things. So there are times where that line gets blurred between work time and play time. But when I come in here and sit at this desk and turn this screen on, I know it's time to work. A little switch goes on in my head and says, okay, what are we getting up to today, basically? I think it's one of those underappreciated backbones of a workspace, just having a machine that does everything that you need it to do when you need it to do it without taking up loads of space. And that is why this computer has become a key part of my upgraded workspace. And the cherry on top of this series, 
So thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in looking into getting a desktop computer or if you want to find out more about Optane memory, uh, please do check out the link below in the description. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.